the piece I'm going to play in two weeks' time, on May 1st and 2nd, is called The Herald in Italy by um, Berlioz. It is technically not a concerto in a very traditional way. It's, um, it's, it's considered as his Berlioz's second symphony, the first being the Symphony Fantastique, and this is the second one, which is commissioned originally by um, the famous um, violinist uh, Niccolò Paganini. Um, but he found it too easy for him because there's so many rests um, in, in the solo part, so he refused to play until a few years later he played it. Uh, he heard it in the, in the concert, he lo absolutely loved it. Um, this piece is, um, the viola solo is um, sort of like a character in the story, like the main character of the storyline, and very similar to um, Richard Strauss' Don Quixote, or Einhard the Leben, which will be played in a month by our orchestra as well. Yeah, this um, symphony, Harold Italy, is, um, is describing a character, Harold, of course. He's wandering on the mountain in Italy, and the first movement, the fourth movement in this symphony, the first movement is um, about him being a dreamer with a different character, like melancholic and joy, for example, and he was wandering on the mountain. And the second movement is him with a, a bunch of pilgrims, and he was like walking along with them. So you hear in the orchestra playing some chants, and he'll, he'll be playing, with me, will be playing the same motif of the of Harold, the character itself. And the third movement is a serenade for his sweetheart, for his mistress. And it's very lighthearted, very lovely and, and pretty and um, very elegant. And the last movement is like a conclusion of the, of the story. So you hear all the tunes coming back again from, from other movements in this symphony. Well, Maestro Wuner is a um, great musician and uh, we have played with him several times on different occasions in some Viennese concert, which is really his specialty, um, and some Schumann symphonies as well. Um, it's a very fun character, fun to work with, um, very focused, very serious musician as well. Um, I really look forward to working with him and very soon. The difficulty is for me, and the fun thing is um, that because the, the, the motive, the melody that I have, the, the things that I have to play is so scattered, so I actually don't get to hear the whole thing. It's not like a, like a big Tchaikovsky violin concerto where you play all the time and you know, you know all the tunes because it's all in the violin part. There's a lot of things, a lot of tunes, a lot of counterpoints are in the orchestra part. So I would have to see how it actually sounds next week when I rehearse with them, which is going to be really fun.